How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So I'm going to go ahead and do a haul video for you guys. Um, do a little bit of a chit chat. So I wanted to start off with um, showing some items that Rosa Beauty Fashion had sent me for my birthday. My birthday was on June 9th and she had sent me some goodies. And I want to say thank you very much, Rosa, for all the goodies that you had sent me. Um, it was really nice to get a package in the mail and just, you know, open it. That's the only bad thing I did. I opened everything up. I I'm terrible with that, but I'm not used to, I'm not used to people getting me stuff and then opening on camera and doing all that kind also, of stuff. I'm not used to my voice. I actually, this is the best I felt in, since... Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, um, I started getting a cold and from there it led into, um, I ended up with really bad fevers, uh, my, body's ended up, my body ended up in chills, I had swollen glands, I think my glands are as swollen now, they're a little bit but not as bad as what they were, so my glands were even swollen, it, it was just horrible. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and show you some of the goodies, um, first of all, can we talk about the cute card that she sent me? <laughs> Birthdays look good on you. And um, of course there's a little personal note in there, so I won't, uh, I won't read that part, but it says, Lori, not as good as diamonds or cashmere, but good. Happy birthday, love Rosa. So yeah, I thought that was so cute. She even put a little kissy little sticker lippies there. How cute is that? So this I think is so adorable. She sent me this cute little notebook and it has like like a fashion hat, a purse and shoes and it's I think it says it's foam. So I guess this is like a foam material in there and there's some paper in there and everything. So I'm actually going to use this for my blog and then my channel and write some notes in there. Oh, then she put stuff in some of these cute drawstring little, um, I can't think of what you want to call it, but little drawstring. This one's like a teal blue color. And um, she got me this gorgeous set of earrings, which actually would have went really nice with this top that I have on. I wish I could... See, I don't, I don't have pierced ears. That's why you never see me with earrings on. Um, I wear necklaces and everything, but I, I've never, I don't know why, I just never got my ears pierced. Uh, maybe I will do it, even though, you know, I'm late in the game, very late in the game. Uh, I still might do it, you know, just so I can wear some earrings. But um, these are super, super cute. Uh, super cute earrings. Oh, this is super cute, too. Um, this is a mirror. I was getting ready to open it, which, like I said, couldn't help myself. But as you can see on the mirror on the front of it, you see a nice, like, uh, handbag and some fashion shoes. And this is going to be perfect for me to put in my bag, my bag, in my purse. Uh, I do have a mirror, like, cosmetic, but it's kind of awkward and it broke. And it's just, this is going to work much, much better, so... Yeah, I'll be putting this in my purse. Of course, she got me some makeup. So, another, look how cute. I mean, seriously, like, look how cute the material is. I just love it. It's so cute. Uh, so, these are some e.l.f. Uh, Falsy Eyelashes, the Natural, natural Lash Kit. I'm actually going to maybe try some of these because I never really do too much, but I don't think it's going to hurt once in a while to do that. So, also in a cute little, this is a pink one. I was excited about this because I haven't tried any of the uh, NYX lip balm or butters. Is this a lip butter? These are the butter lipsticks. That's what it is. The NYX butter lipsticks. And this is in a bit of honey bit of honey. It's a really pretty color. It's like a peachy 
peachy color. Very pretty. Nice and sheer peach color. That's really pretty. That's going to be nice. And then, um, oh my goodness, this here. This is from LA Colors. Uh, it says it's new and it's Dua Moisturizers Lips with Color and High Shine. So it comes with a lipstick at the top and then some lip gloss on the bottom. And I, I actually have uh, Doris Dalton. She makes, um, what is it, Doll 10's the name of her company now. She has something similar to that and I love that concept because you know, you might just want the lipstick, um, or you might just want the lip gloss, or you can add them both together, obviously. So it's a really, really pretty. I don't know how you could, if you can see the color. It's called Charmed. Okay, so here's the lipstick. It's called Charmed. That is so right up my alley. You know that for red. Oh yeah. Oh Rosa, you did good, honey girl. There's that. Um, feels really nice lipstick and let me see can I figure out the lip there we go Ooh, this lip gloss has some nice like glitteriness to it see that Ooh -wee. so yeah you can wear and have it like sheared a little bit a little hint or like I said put them together but that wasn't enough that's crazy I haven't tried any of these so I was excited for one of the Milani uh, shadow eyes and she got me the golden bronze color Doo -doo -doo. so I can't wait to try that um, I haven't tried any of those and then this I had told her I said oh my gosh because um, I had seen it in Walmart before and I had thought about getting it and it was like one of the things like where you think about getting it and then you either forget or you think oh I'll just get it the next time and then you just forget again and um, that's what ended up happening with this and it's an eyeshadow from Physicians Formula it's the shimmer strips um, the shimmer strips this one's for hazel eyes I believe smoky hazel eyes and look at those colors beautiful purples like orchid golds um, looks like there's a taupe color. Oh, I'm just going to have fun playing with this. I already can tell. I love it. So, yeah, I was so excited about that. So that was everything that Rosa got me. And I just want to say thank you so much, Rosa, from the bottom of my heart. That was so kind of you. You really didn't have to get me all this stuff. I mean, like I said, just the card in itself was fine. Um, and even just your friendship was just as fine, too. So, thank you so much. That was so kind of you. Go so ahead and show you some of the other products that I got. I probably will have a couple hauls because um, <clears throat> I've gotten several orders within my for my birthday and everything. And this one here is going to be uh, just a small order that I got from Alta, which, by the way, I wanted to. I have this on today too. Um, Dr. Dines, this was sent to me uh, from Dr. Dines. It's the Hydro Shield Tinted Moisturizer. Um, but it's a self-adjusting color factor, flawless radiant coverage with broad spectrum of UVA and UVB. And my color is in light. And let me just say, I was so ecstatic because there is the word Hydro Shield. And her Hydro Shield is amazing for moisture and uh, collagen and just, it is awesome. And that is what I like to use a lot of times on my lips, which... Speaking of, oh, there it is, because uh, I have another one, but this is my baby here for my lips. I showed it my favorites, uh, the Hydro Shield for the lips. I always put that on before I do any lip product or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, it comes in a nice tube like this. This is 1.5 ounce. So I did use it today, and I really, really liked it. Really great for right now, like a light coverage. It has Hydro Shield in it. So if you have not tried... Dr. Dennis's Hydro Shield, you need to be getting some because that stuff is pretty awesome. But of course, they only give me two little samples. So if you don't like about Alta for that, is the samples. I don't like that. I think they should, I wish they would give us more of a sample. So this is called Coats Face, the Healthier Sunscreen. Healthy Mineral Complex helps prevent premature skin aging. It's a silky soft, lighted, lightly tinted sheer matte finish so don't know much about this company or anything but might look into it it is the Garnier nourishing cleansing oil this is 
I love this stuff, the cleansing oil from Garnier. The main thing that I wanted to get was the, uh, well, let's just say, um, I know there's like a lot of different uh, contour highlight palettes out there. And, um, like, I know NYX makes one. I see ELF got one out now. There's, like, a new one from ELF. Or, oh, Kat Von D, Shade and Light. There's just a whole bunch. Anastasia. And, um, it can be pretty overwhelming. And I don't know a whole lot with the whole contour kind of stuff. And I've been wanting to get one, and I wasn't sure which one. And when it came down to it, I was really going to get... I still might get the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I still might get that one. That is still out there. So when I seen Lorac was coming out with one, and I have been just crazy obsessed with Lorac lately. Like right now, it's I want to get every kind of different palette from them, blush from them, um, some more of their lipsticks because I do have three shades of the Alter Ego lipsticks. Um, I have several other palettes. And so I really uh, wanted to, I just knew I wanted to get this contour highlight palette from Lorac. So yes, went ahead and got the Lorac uh, Pro Contour Palette and you got a brush also. So, and this is like $42 compared to the one from Kat Von D. Uh, you have to buy the brush separately. So if you are in the market of looking for a contour highlight palette. I don't know much about the one from Kat Von D that I want to I want to get and or wanted to get. If I could talk, I'm just not sure if I still want to get it. I think I will only because the collector in me wants it, and I do love Kat Von D and her products too. That was the main thing for me right now. But <clears throat> honestly, if you're only going to get one, I think this one's going to be the perfect one. Can we just talk about the packaging? Of course. Um, you know, it, it's, it's nice and small and sleek. You know, it's really nice small, and, and that's just like their pro palettes that they have with their eyeshadows. They're nice and sleek and small, and this does have the same rubberized, uh, so I can already see marks and fingerprints and stuff, you know, it's gonna do that. Um, but, uh, you know, it, I like that part, the sleekness of it. So if you're going to be traveling, then it's going to be great to take with you. So, and of course it has the uh, magnetic closure going on, which a lot of palettes do now these days, the magnetic closure. Um, it does have your um, protector in there and it has a nice size mirror. You know, I don't want to blind you guys, but there's the mirror, a nice size mirror. And on the bottom is, now the only thing too with this is, as you can tell and see, these four here are more, they're not small, small, obviously. I mean, like, look at my finger, I mean, they're big. But these two on the end are more bigger. And I think it's because the two on the end are going to be more what most people are going to use or find, find that works for them or use for them. Woo, hello sun. Uh, it starts off with Light Couture. <laughs> I got Juicy Couture in my head for some reason. But there's the Light Couture. Oh my god. There's the Light Contour. It starts off with Light. Then this is the deep one. And they have the medium one, the bigger one. So let's see if you guys can see that, right? And then on the top you got beige light right here, uh, yellow highlight right there, and then shimmer highlight right there, which majority of people will do like their, you know, shimmer highlight. So let's go ahead and dunk our fingers in there and I'll show you the pigmentation. So I'm going to start off with beige light, and then I'll go down to the contour. I'll do it that way. I'll go down. Do it that way for you guys. So here's the beige highlight, and very soft. You know how it is. They do kick up some product, but there is beige highlight, 
and this is the light light contour this is a really nice I like the light I actually use the light contour for my eyes to work with my whole eyeshadow look all right then we're going to go to the yellow highlight in the middle so you can see the difference between this one beige this one yellow and then let's do the deep this is the deep contour right there so there's those four it's crazy how pigmented so there they are there that starts off with the beige highlight the light contour the uh, yellow highlight and the darker dark contour Now I'll just swatch the other two on my hand. So I'm gonna go into the shimmer, shimmer highlight, which it does have shimmer and it's not real glittery shimmery or anything. There it is there. And then the medium contour, which that is what I use to contour. There it is there. So there we go. And if you could see with the light, So here's the brush that it comes with. It's a really, really nice brush. I really like it. I do have a brush with them um, for my blush. And I did use this for the contour and highlight both. I just wiped it off or wiped it on my little cushiony tray thing that I have to get the excess off and reuse it. So it's a really nice brush. It's very, very good brush. Very well made for the price for all that i don't really think that's too bad at all so i was actually waiting for this for it to pop up on alta i mean i literally was waiting online for it to pop up on alta because i knew i wanted it i wasn't sure how everybody else was going to be about it you know like how that mega pro went and sold out so fast and i figured it would probably be back in stock if it did sell out but i didn't want it to sell out and then i'd have to wait I wanted to get it right away. I don't, I wanted to get this would be to be my first uh, contour highlight palette. So as I'm waiting and <clears throat> I'm adding that into my cart and everything, this thing popped up and it said about the limited edition rock metals. And I was like, the what? So of course I had to click on that because like I said with Barack lately and me. So yeah. Rock Pro Metal Palette. First of all, look how cute. At this, and it is a limited edition, so I, would, I don't know if it's still on there. I'm not quite sure. Look how cute. I mean, seriously. I could, I could put it in my hand. Like, seriously. <laughs> how cute. It's just too adorable. So, just like the other, now this doesn't have the rubber, it, I guess it does have the rubber as to on top of it, like a foiled kind of a overlay on it. Anyway, open it up just like any of the other Laura palettes and stuff. You got your little cover thingy, got a nice mirror there, see that? And then there's your shades. The only bad thing is, since this is a metal, and the shine. There we go. And if I turn it this way, you can see the color's a little better. $28. I don't know if that's going to be the price the whole entire time or if it was just that day or what. $28 for this guy here. And so well worth it. Oh my gosh. We have quartz right here. There's quartz. We have a rose gold. Graffiti we have there. And then we have onyx okay on the bottom we have gilded gilded amber clover and cobalt and they're all of a metallic finished look to them so the quartz and they're very very now these really kick up too but 
pigmentation. Wait till you guys see. Okay, that is quartz. So here is rose gold. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it does cook up a pretty good bit. That's just the only thing, but yeah. There's rose gold. <sighs> Feedy. I'm doing this so lightly because, you know, there's graffiti. Graffiti is like a pewter, like a pewter, maybe. And then here's onyx. On the pinky one. I think, which is onyx. Onyx does have some glitter particles, but it's not overwhelmingly and it doesn't go into anything so look at those shades i can't get over just by one swipe one swipe watch seriously one swipe so there's the onyx rose gold uh, graffiti and onyx. There's quartz, I guess, is that's quartz or whatever. But there are those colors there. Go ahead and go into gilded. There's gilded. Oh. Didn't know why I put it on that finger. <laughs> amber. I did it kind of backwards, I think. There's amber. Clover. There's the three of them there. And then cobalt. There's cobalt. So there they are there. There's the other colors right there. So starting off with gilded, amber, Clover and cobalt. Oh. Now cobalt, I'll have to look at because I do have the Lorac Mega Pro palette, the Mega Pro one that came out around Christmas time. I have that. The cobalt looks like that blue color that came in the Mega Pro without all that glitter that's on it. Um, that's what it does look like. I'm gonna have to see if there's any other colors you know, could possibly um, be of the same. I'm not really sure. So those are all the things. That's Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot from Alta. I just got those things. I do have another haul that has a lot more things. And the other thing I was wondering, I'm curious, because I don't have any of them, is the Makeup Geek foil shadows. I'm wondering if there's any, and I'm going to guess there probably is going to be, dupes so and i don't have any of hers um but i'm curious so guys thanks so much for watching really appreciate it and if you did like this video and found it helpful or anything like that just give me a good old thumbs up i so much appreciate it it helped me out a lot if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you so go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and come and join me each week and um yeah just have a little something each week on here and as always, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the world be shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.